So, you can see me during school holidays and some weekdays when I'm not teaching because I'm good for nothing then. Oh, and I play badminton on Tuesdays. And you can see Fizz the rest of the time. You really are bonkers. That kind of talk isn't going to help. And how do you think I'd explain something like that to Fizz? No, don't bother answering because I'm not even going to try. I love her. She's my wife and I don't want you. And OK, if you're going to go to the police, then go. But I'll tell you something, I've been in prison. I've done it once and I can do it again. Do you think you can? I'm going now. And I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear from you, not ever, OK? You're breaking my heart, you know that. What heart? You haven't got one. Right from the beginning you've been leading me on. Oh, no. Letting me think that there's something between us. I've done no such thing. And that you'd sooner or later you'd leave that woman. Never! And if you thought that, then, well, I'm sorry, but I never even dreamt of it. So we understand each other at last, do we? I'm leaving this house and I do not want you in my life anymore. I don't want you calling me. I don't want anything to do with you. That's it! Hiya, yeah, I've um, just booked a taxi from you. The name's Windass. You were picking me up from the Rover's Return Coronation Street. Yeah, I um, I won't need that anymore, so just, just cancel it. OK, thanks. Bye-bye. Can you get through? Oh, of course you can. Right, well, sit yourself down. Oh, you're already sat down. So... When's your Gary getting back from seeing his mate's mum and dad? Oh, he won't be back for ages. So, was there, was there anything else you wanted to ask me? What about? About our Gary. Because I think you care about him, don't you? Oh, no, no, you're not going to worm stuff out of me. No. Get me to tell you things you can't get him to tell you himself. Is it? Isabel. Well, see, I don't even know what to call you. Yes, it'll do. I'm worried about him about the state of his mind, and I want to help him. Well, all this that's happened in Afghanistan, it, it's all still in his head, so maybe it's good he's going to see these people. Then he has to talk about it. Perhaps we just have to be patient with him. So now can I ask you? What? Has he said out about me? You mean what he thinks about you? He's said very little about anything. How he's thinking, how he's feeling. But I know he talks to you, doesn't he? Sometimes. Well, sometimes he's more than he talks to anybody else. Me, his dad, anybody. So, I'd say he thinks quite a lot about you. And you know what? I'd be very glad if he did. So, she said, can they come round at six o'clock? And I said, yeah, of course he can. And do they have an house to sell? I don't know, but she asked if anyone else would put an offer in. You know, like they were serious, right? Yeah, good luck. Of course, I don't want you to go, so I didn't mean that. But do you have... <laughs> I don't know. I know this must be hard for you. You must come over and have your holidays with us. Might be one long holiday, the way things are looking. No, I'm sorry. Ignore me. Of course you want to sell the house. See what we're on, will you? Because I want the place looking nice and tidy. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Come in the back door and remember to take your shoes off. So you're still thinking about taking over this place? <laughs> I am. But the banks don't seem to think that that's a good idea. I think he found shopping boring. He's exhausted. Of course he is, he's a man. All men find it boring. So, did you buy me out? Um, no, what, no, we just weren't really in the right shops. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I was only joking. Anyway, listen, Sally and Rosie have gone for a drink in that joinery place and they want me to go with them. So go. What, are you sure? I don't think it's very fair, but... Of course it's fair. Look, have you got enough money? Yeah, yeah, of course I have. And I won't be long, it'll be like an hour tops. Be as long as you like. But listen, uh, what you said before about us having another baby... Well, you said it first. I, I just think it's going to be, like, perfect. Thank you. All right. Mm. See ya.
Bye. Owen has said it's okay for it to stop over. Hmm. That's what they're telling you, is it? No, not just them. Owen told me himself at dinner time. Oh, okay. What are they saying? I thought they had dreams of getting a flat or something. I think they woke up a while back, as soon as they saw how much we cost. Hmm. So everybody's happy then? For now, anyway. Well, yeah, I meant for now. We all know that. Happiness is only ever for now. Hi, Chez. Hi, Katie, how are you? Hi, thanks. Glad to hear you're going to be our guest. I'm going to go and get changed. What's going to him? Don't ask me. Evening. Oh, so you are joining us tonight, then? Of course I am. I thought maybe your mother wouldn't let you out after what she found out this morning. All she found was it's working from home. Yeah, well, she won't be finding it again. <laughs> really scared me after that. Honestly, she hasn't said a word, and neither has David. He's the most suspicious beggar on the planet. Well, I don't want a baby till I'm at least 31, and then my figure will be going anyway, so it won't really matter. Well, things don't always go to plan. In fact, I don't know anything that does in this life. Did you actually want a baby? Or was it like an accident? You can't ask people that question. Well, what? I mean, she does have to answer. Um, right, well, it wasn't planned exactly, but... Now I've had him, I feel like he was. Yeah, you couldn't wish for a better father. Tyrone's been terrific. <laughs> I don't know what Jason would be like with the baby. Oh, let's hope we don't find out. Honestly, do you know what? I don't know what you see in that lad. He's not a lad. Well, he's got the mentality of one. After everything we've given him, a private education and... Oh, here we go, She mother. throws herself at Jason Grimshaw. Honestly, even his name's horrible. Do you really want to be called Grimshaw? Oh, yes, Mother, because Webster's, like, really upper class, isn't it? Oh, yeah, compared to Grimshaw. Your drink, my lady. Ready and waiting. Ah, oh, thank you. Did you pay for it? Well, it's coming out of your wages, yes. Oh, well. Cheers. Cheers. Well, <clears throat> I'd better tell you, because Peter will if I don't. I asked him what was going on with him and Carla. Oh, no, after I'd gone and done the exact same thing. Yeah, I know, but they were at it again this morning. As soon as she saw him, she rushed across the street. Then they were, like, standing really close, just muttering away. What was Peter's answer? Well, he said there was nothing going on. You see? Does it mean I believe him? Can I just ask? Not a word of this to me, huh? In fact, within 20 yards of her, it's juicy gossip like this that it's very difficult to want to stop to. Yes, okay. Yeah, people love her. Keep them going to Christmas. I think they've won them, kids. You can see it in their faces. They have won, haven't they? I've been watching them like hawks. Either one puts a foot wrong, the deal's off. There'll be a barbed wire barricade across the street with me sitting there with a machine gun. I didn't expect you back to see. Not been anywhere. What happened? Just couldn't do it. Could face his parents? More. Couldn't face the memories. Anyway, look, I don't want to talk about it. You might want to sometime. No, never. Definitely not today. So, um, how's your debut? I had all sorts of plans for you and Sophie. I was going to turn you both into lovely young ladies. What, are you trying to say that I'm not? Of course you're not. Well, do you want to be? <laughs> well, I am a lot better than some. I don't do drugs. So all I'm saying is you don't know how your kids are going to turn out, do you? Well, like Sophie seeing her prayers every night. And what about Jack? What's Jack? <laughs> I'm not bothered as long as he's happy. Right, I'm going to get another round, but this has got to be my last. <clears throat> Hiya. Hey, love. Hi, Nick. Hello. Listen, uh, I've just been talking to Simon. Oh, who's he with now? Oh, he's with, uh, my dad and Deirdre. What he's saying? That you never turned up at school. When? This morning. You know, for that little concert he was doing. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot all about it. I did remind yeah, you. Yeah, I know you did. Was he upset? No, no, I don't think so. I just think that, uh, he worried something might have happened to you, you know, oh. like I did, but... No, nothing happened. I just forgot. 
That was good. No harm done. Right, better go and get him, put him to bed. All right. Right. Blame me. No, Bye. don't you say anything. Don't even speak to me. It's just when we're not being used to this, I've forgotten all the sorts of stuff I should have brought with me. Oh, we all do that. So, we're just going to nip back to mine while my dad's not in. How do you know he's not? He'll be in the Rovers. He's seeing Liz. All right. See you later. Yeah. Bye. So, now we've got a part-time lodger. Yeah, who's still at school. Now I'm the one wondering whether it's a good idea. We'll have to see. Hey, listen. Sorry for the way I was when I came in. It's just one of them days. It's OK. Tell you what, I nip out later, get us a bottle of wine. What? I only want a thimbleful. Well, that's what I was hoping you'd say. Well, it's Friday night. It's traditional. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're here. Oh, good. I didn't know whether to keep your son dinner or not. You haven't eaten, have you? Uh, no, no. Well, this'll only be ten minutes. Your dad's supposed to be back, but I'll believe that when I see you. So, how was it? I, um... Yeah, it was OK. Well, not OK, but as OK as it could be. Were they glad to see you, Quinny's parents? They were... I don't know, really. You don't want to talk about it? Don't suppose I do, no. Right, well, we won't, then. And don't worry, I'll make sure your dad doesn't either. Do you want a drink? Hey, mind a couple of visitors? Hi, uh, no, come in. Yeah, Mo's yeah, still out with your Sal and Rosie, having a drink at that new bar, so... <laughs> Me and him had a chat, decided the men should get together and all. Oh, and look at what he's got hiding in his nappy bag. <laughs> Dada! <laughs> you wouldn't think he's old enough to buy him, would you? But he says they never ask his age. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, no, it's good to see you. All oh, right, well, I just thought you'd be on your own, same as me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, then, pal. Here's to the men. The men. So, as from tomorrow, you're a free man. You can go anywhere, do whatever you like. That's fantastic, David boy. Yeah, except I can't, though, can I? No? No, I don't know when next I'm going to have one of them seizures. Ah, uh, right. It's like I've got this bomb attached to me, yeah? And it's ticking away, only no one's told me when it's going to go off. You know, will it be when I'm in the Rovers or when I'm crossing a busy road? Yeah, it won't be like that forever, though. Once they get the medication, right? Medication? Wow. Yeah, good word, mother. Well, what word would you use? Drugs. It's when they've got me on the proper drugs and turned me into a junkie. You're not going to be a junkie. Of course I am. Junkie Dave. I think drugs are like people. There's good ones and there's bad ones. There are, Graham, yes. Well, until I get my good drugs, National Health approved, can't touch you for it. So I might as well still be locked up because nobody knows just when I might explode again. Last one, I promise, because I don't know about you, but I need to get home sometime. <clears throat> yeah, OK, but I'll just, um, I'll just ring tight. <laughs> You're terrible, you, Mum. You're worse than me. Yeah, well, I've had loads of practice. Well, could you? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah, I'm still here, but uh, I'll be home after I finish this drink, OK? Yeah, that's OK. You take as long as you like. Uh, is that a Jack I can hear? Yeah, but he's all right. We'll see him to him. It's not a problem. <coughs> Nothing's going on. Just brought him round to Kev's, that's all. We're having a party of our own here. Well, don't go get any more excited because we'll be up with him all night. He's fine. Kev's got him. Has he? Yeah. You just enjoy yourself and don't worry about us. They seem keen. That's where they could move out. And they don't have anywhere to sell. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if it all just went through, no problems? It must happen sometimes. Oh, please, let it happen to us, please. I just want France to be a whole new start. I don't want to be leaving anything behind. You will leave me behind at one stage. You're happy about it now, though, aren't you? I can't be happy if it's right. And you mean that? Of course I mean it. <laughs> Kieran, can you just hold the thought a minute? Will you have your executive meeting? Of course. What? It has to stop. What has to stop? We do. What, because you missed some lousy school concert? And because your mother nearly caught us, and because I am getting married in two weeks, and because this is just plain 
bonk. Not if we love each other. <laughs> love? What's that, eh? A feeling you've got one minute, it's gone the next. Peter asked me to marry him, and I said yes. And I won't do that while I'm having some dirty little affair. Oh, thank you. Well, that's how anybody else would see it. Doesn't mean we have to. It's not like that, and you know it. I love you. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to stop. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're not being honest with yourself. What is it you truly, truly want? I don't know. I only know what I said I'll do, and I'm going to do it. And this, what we're doing, has got to stop. Now. There. I've said it. There it is. And if you're saying you can't do that, well, then I'm going to have to leave here. Thanks, Kevin. I'll take over now. One or two raised voices there. I just had a minor disagreement. I'd hate to see your man after a major one. I gave some crisps. No. What are you doing? Coming to see you. Well, you can't. I said I don't want I to see you anymore. I know what you said. But there are two of us in this, and I don't agree with what you said. Well, look, we can't talk here. Somebody will see us. Well, let's go for a drink then. No, no! No, we'll, um... Round here, come on, we'll go around the corner. Everything all right? Fine, thank you. What are you looking so miserable for, then? None of your business. Nah. Something's happened. Something's wrong. Let's have a little guess at what it might be, shall we? Brother, you didn't. I some woman giving you the boot. Yeah, that's it, innit? You chatted her up, she told you to get lost. Oh well, at least it shows she's got some taste. Shut up, David. Oh, don't tell me Red Over Heels in love with her. Had your heart broken, have you? Oh well, never mind. Shut up! Nick! Let him go. Tell him to keep his opinions to himself. If I have a seizure, it'll be his fault. Be your own fault. Don't provoke him. See, you might think Fizz is an asset, somebody on your side, but no. Fizz is a liability. Because I can come round here and destroy your marriage. Destroy it. Any time I like. And that's what you're out to do, is it? No. No, I'm here to give you a second chance to save it. Just how do I do that? By agreeing to share. No. Half of you for me, and half of you for Fizz, if you really have to spend time with her, though why, I will never understand. Look, you mean you don't think she'll notice if I'm just not here half the time? Well, we can be a bit flexible. When I say half, a couple of nights, weekend here, weekend there, and once she's got the baby to occupy... All right. You will. Well, I don't have a lot of choice, do I? No. One condition, though. Go on. There to be no more letters or photos, no. or videos. there won't be, I promise. Good. So, to start with, she can have you over this weekend, and I'll have you... Monday. Monday? After school. I'll, um... I'll try. No, you won't try, John. You will do it. Or else I'll think you've broken our agreement. In fact, I might even think you never intended to keep it. Yeah, OK. OK. So, give me a hug. What? Give me a hug. Well, we'd best be getting back. She heard him crying, so she'll be worrying. Yeah, of course. Oh, but first, let me give you something. We have a Christmas present for him. Whoa, what? Do you think we've got no money? <laughs> I think you're loaded. I know what you take home every week. <coughs> Here, you just want him to have something from me. There you go. Well, that's too much, Kev. What, now you're saying I can't afford it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying he's a baby. There's not much you can get him at that age. Well, put it in a bank account for him until he's older or something. I don't know, just... I just want him to have something from me, that's all. OK, cheers. Hey, listen, I'm not supposed to be telling anyone, but... Me and Molly are going to be trying for another. Another? A baby, yeah. So you never know. Might be asking you to be a godfather again soon. And it'll cost you double next Christmas. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you, mate. <clears throat> Sorry. 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 Sor
sorry, that took a while. Well, it did. There's a woman in front of me, couldn't get a credit card to work. I don't know why. Crisps? Oh, thank you. Anyway, while I was waiting, my phone went off. Oh, you said I'm the only one ever rings you. Yeah, usually. But I've been trying to do something about that nasty photo you got this morning. Oh! Well, I said I would. So have you. Well, I've spent all day trying to track Colin down, leaving messages all over the place. And? Well, finally, I'm standing in Dev's and he got back to me. And has he admitted it? Well, it's not as simple as that. No, he denied it. Well, I knew he would. I've arranged to meet him on Monday night. We'll get it sorted then. Why didn't you just say to him when he rang you, did you send it? Well, because I want to say it to him face to face. I want to see his expression. Well, yeah. Yeah. Where are you meeting him? Um, Doncaster. Doncaster? Yeah, well, that's where he's living. And how long's that going to take you? It doesn't matter. The important thing is to get it sorted once and for all. And this time, I will. I promise. Well, I hope so. Hi, love. Hiya. Come here, give me a cuddle. Did you have a good night? I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm not a right good person, am I? Ah, because you missed size concert, you mean? No, you're not. You'll be ashamed of yourself. I'll try and be better. OK, love. We'll try. Viewers may like to know that as part of Coronation Street's 50th anniversary, ITV has launched the Coronation Street 50th anniversary charity appeal to support three charities nominated by our cast. For details, including terms and conditions, or to make a donation, go to itv.com slash corrie.